If we want to download MyViewBoard for a Windows device, all we need to do is go to myviewboard.com. As you can see, there is an option to sign up to an account at the top right hand corner. If you've done this fantastic, it may already have been done by your institution for you. On this page, you can see on the right hand side, we've got some options here. At the bottom, there is a link where we can access our downloads. We can basically scroll to the solution that works for us. So in this case, we're gonna to go to ViewBoard Whiteboard for Windows. We're gonna hit download and that will basically start the download in the same fashion as if you were to download anything for a Windows device. The IFP 50-3 series will come pre-installed with My Viewboard Whiteboard on the Android. If we want to open it, we simply tap the whiteboard icon on the app tray and it will open the whiteboard for us. From here, we can make annotations, use shapes, tools, and all the other features that my viewboard offers. If we want to sign into our my viewboard account on either Windows or Android, we need to sign in in one of two ways. Firstly, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see there's a my viewboard sign in box. The first way we can sign in is by typing in our email and password. Alternatively, there is a My Viewboard companion app in which we can remain signed in and then use a QR code option to scan and then log into our account each time in an easier fashion. Once I've done that QR scan, what it does is log me in and as we can see, my personal preferences are there, my cloud drives that I've linked to there. And this is actually displayed by the fact that my name is in that top left corner. If we want to change our preferences for my viewboard whiteboard in things such as the theme, the text, the font, pen types, all we need to go is to the myviewboard.com website. Once we're signed in, as you'll see in the top right hand corner, we've also got our display where we can see where we're logged in. If I tap on the image of myself, it brings up a drop down box. From here, if I click on follow me, it will basically take me to a menu where the settings are available. From here, I can change my general theme, as we can see, change the general preferences and also mess around with things like cloud integrations, bookmarks, background and magic line pens and things like that, which can be set as your default for every time you log in. If we want to sign out of our My Viewboard account, all we need to do is to go to the bottom right hand corner where we have an icon. In this particular scenario, it's a picture of me as I've set it that way in preferences. Alternatively, it'll just be the outline of a little man. If I tap on this, what it will do is it will bring up an icon which will allow me to sign out. If I tap on that little icon there, it will ask me if I'm sure. I just respond with yes or no. In this case, I'm going to select yes and I've signed out of my viewboard.